we have a power. We can order our day, we can ordain our day, and before going, we pray to God, saying that God, Father, we are your children. We are going there, and Lord, let there be beautiful day, <coughs> lovely day, and let the devil be bound, let all infection, injuries, everything be bound, all serpents in the open field be bound, and no be bitten by the serpents or insects or any kind of snakes and weevils and crawling thing or anything. Let not the monkey jump on us. <laughs> yeah, we pray and go and we pray for our safety going and coming. And at the end of the day, when we come back, God, I love him. He gives us a double rainbow. Amen. Let's give us a God. <laughs> Full arc, full arc, the brilliant full arc rainbow. I never seen such a bright rainbow. He said, "No, it's not enough. I'll give a little bit second one also." Amen. Amen. And we have taken pictures, and I never seen such a brilliant rainbow in my life. I never seen such brilliant rainbow that you can distinguish the color. And Mountain took the pictures and all everybody who were on the way, all of you saw that rainbow? Yes. This always happens whenever we go for such events or baptisms and God will show things in the heaven and in the sky we shall see the great manifestation. God is always confirming us that I am your Father, I am your Lord. As you acknowledge me, I also acknowledge you. Let's give a God a good man. It's a two way. It's not one way, two way. He's our living God, living Father. And Nancy has taken, many of you have taken the pictures and come to lay to bow. Sent on the edges. Yes, you already sent on the edges. Oh, these pictures have been sent for your references. I really want to tell you I love this Father. I love this God. Fall in love with Him. And you will never rebel. Fall in love with God. You will never rebel. You will never rebel. You will never rebel. You will never leave Him, nor forsake Him, never displease Him. I want to tell you, it will bring you in, you know, absolute obedience. When you will fall in love, you obey. When you say, God, I love you, people, you know what they do? They fight with their own friends, families, relatives, and they belch out on God. Today I'm not going to go to church. Why? I fought with my mother, I fought with my father, I fought with my neighbor. Come on, man. Your problem is the domestic, your problem is the social. Why take it out on God? Has God done something wrong to you? You know, I'm, I'm like this, you know. Come on. I have seen millions of cases like that. I didn't come to church, I was upset about this. Come on. Did God did anything to you? No. So how can you break the commandment of God? So are you throwing everything on God? Are you blaming for all your misconduct on God? I don't like this kind of people. Neither God likes it. God is a God, he's a God, he's a God, he's a God, he's a God. He's a God. Repent before him. And submit. You can't, you know, swear to God, and you can't be, you know, you know, you can't be showing attitude to God. When God will show attitude, there is a no another savior. I want to tell you. If He will take away the grace and mercies, there is a no more God, another God. Who will come to your rescue? Who will listen to your prayer then? Who will answer your prayer? This attitude is a way to destruction of the life, property, soul, everything. Sickness, disease it brings. Whenever children of Israel rebelled against him, you know what happened? The whole Bible is history. God condemned them. And through 
threw them back into the desert and they never saw the promised land. Let's be careful 